Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm Rana Bahamut, and this is Bioshock 1. Moira. Patrick. Ain't that just like Ryan? Waits until we're almost out, then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him, and we'll tear his heart out. I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. The heart gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is but on my account. Well, pretty deep. So later you might remember the taste. <laughs> you get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. Then all debts will be paid in full. Can I talk now? Is that allowed? Okay. As you may have noticed, getting into there requires uh, the pyrokinesis. That's its name. Yes, pyrokinesis is what you need to light that torch and get your butt in there. Well, there may be an alternate to that, but we don't have it yet. And we seem to be finding some rather odd pickups now. Somehow we know that ghost is named Dieter. Also, apparently it's the plasmids that are making us see things. That's good for our psyche, isn't it? What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo. Just to be safe, word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Wait, so the stuff I keep shoving into my arm to use my plasmids it also acts as a contraceptive? This guy's calling for help and just running away from us. How dare he? Hi. And he exploded! And there's something under this mask thingy. <laughs> and he keeps exploding off into a direction. Still no sign of him. Dude. What the? Oh, hi there. Surprise! Let's take your picture. Yes, meet the Houdini Splicers. You know all that magical stuff that we keep on doing with uh, shooting fireballs, etc. So far on and so forth. Well, we finally have enemies who do that too, and they can also teleport. Because screw you. Unfortunately, they are that tough. We even found his little hidey hole there. Now, 
now to figure out where the hell are we going. I mean, I know Atlas said get to the train station. Well, not train station, the... Oh god, why can't I think today? The freaking bathing sphere place where th you can go places. That's what we need. Yes. And this does not look like a good situation to be in. No, I'm on fire. Oh, and we finally see thuggish splicers again. Ow, owie, 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 ow. Uh, I think I picked the wrong one and someone's shooting at me now. Oh. I thought you were a friggin' uh, son of a bitch. Nitro Splicer. And my god, I hate the friggin' pistol. Finally, they go out. That took far too much work than was necessary. Also, thank you, telekinesis. I swear I use it more for grabbing out of reach items than I do for anything else. Eat fertilizer, buddy. Dang it, I killed the slug without... without photographing him. Oh, shit. How did I miss you? And son of a bitch, I forgot to photograph it again. And you work for me now, and we can now buy napalm and liquid nitrogen. I guess I'm not really going to complain about being able to shoot that kind of stuff at people once I actually get something that can shoot it. Oh, we have problems. And yes, my first instinct is always whip out camera. Especially for the thugs, because they're going to give us something very special soon. Bad veil-wearing lady. Oh, and we finally found another one of these doors again. Zap them and free stuff! I got some kerosene! Am I going to have to start burning bodies to make sure they don't come back to life or something? Now let's see. I'm supposed to go this way. And oh my. Uh hi lady. Ah uh, yes, and I got sports boost. Makes me move and swing the wrench faster. And screw Hagger's Delight and Yes, yes, we are dealing with tripwires now. My normal way of handling him. Telekinesis. And that is not how I usually do it. There we go. You can pull the arrows just out of the wall and then manipulate them however you want. There we go. Now there is no problem. I just had a shitload of coffee. And to someone else's hidey hole. And dead kitty. Okay. Thank you, auto hack. I don't know what's up with this battery, but someone decided to stick it in a safe. It must be important. Ow. You are quite rude, sir. Now let me take your picture multiple times in an attempt to make it so I can damage you more. And my god, this guy is a smorgasbord of research points. Now if only I could find a gene bank so that I can put on the 
photography eye whatever that I got from a previous episode. Saturnine, run, run! Saturnine, what? This is our place, ours. Well, I guess we have a name for the group of the Houdinis, I guess. But there, he didn't stick around for me to take his picture. Ah, yes, and now we have our latest vending machine, the U-Invent. You definitely want to hack these suckers, and I'll show you why in a minute. There we go. U-Invent lets you make new items. Duh. From automatic hacking tools to armor-piercing rounds to friggin' exploding buck. Hacking them reduces the item requirements to make something by one across the board, so it's always handy to do that if you're planning to do some crafting. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough to do anything worthwhile with it yet, but of course that is subject to change. Oh my, she got smeared across the wall. And the lightning traps plus water usually means bad things. I hear someone. He's probably up on the walkway since I am really just wandering around in water at the moment. Oh my! Thank you, action shot. Uh, now we get one of my favorite tonics. Guess I can ditch medical expert for now. Can't really use it directly in combat, so you're gonna have to give me a minute to actually show you what it does. You can also grab and toss back the Houdini splicers. I don't want to call them bullets, but we'll get back here. Oh hey, someone's fighting a big daddy. Now come here, daddy. Pose for a picture. And once more, taking pictures of little girls, because video games. Oh, fine. Big daddy. Okay, that hurt. Blood. I'm losing blood. There we go. Now, of course, we rescue because we are not monsters. Sweet, we got our second bone. Did you just teleport? Are you a Houdini? You come to my town? Now we get a lot of Adam and the safe cracker. Pretty much it just makes the difficulty lower when you hack safes. Good lord! I think my shotgun has seen better days now. It's not doing enough damage. And we finally can get more tonic slots. Because holy crap do we need them. But first, upgrading the health and eve count. Oh yeah, so we can finally upgrade our, our electro bolt. 
This is probably our first time we've actually ran into an upgrade of plasmid thing. Basically, as I said, it just stuns for longer, which is kinda not worth it in my opinion. I mean, I'm already doing well enough with my current uh, lightning bolt. I don't really need uh, to be able to stun something for a second longer. And now we can finally put in some new stuff. Physical are obviously the ones that focus on the healing, and I really did not mean to buy two of them. Because as you might notice, I don't have very many good ones of those. But I really want over the combat ones. Now I can have my armor shell again, and I'm out. Crap. Yeah, I normally would have just bought two of the combat so I could have both armor shell and my photo eye. And why is there never a gene bank around when you need it? When you realize you've made a mistake. And we are right back where we started. Well, okay then. No bad bag grenades. Two free first aid kits for beating up a first aid station. I call that a win. Something is shooting at some... Hello. Now pose for me. Perfect. Oh, I can actually wrench lurker him. Yeah, when you get a wrench lurker attack off, it's pretty much always fatal. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity. Roland Hills is over yonder, and the bathosphere station is as well. And then straight on to Ryan. Well, thank you, Atlas, for completely interrupting Andrew Ryan there. And we have ourselves another camera to deal with. But first, I'm going to take a camera's picture. Because we need pictures of our cameras. I can now find twice the film on destroyed security cameras. Just what I always wanted. And as you may have noticed, I keep on going transparent. That's the effect of the new tonic I picked up from the Houdini splicers. It has its li it's a bit limited by the fact that you have to stand still for a bit to actually use it, but it is extremely handy especially when you're dealing with security stuff. Goodbye camera. And the camera has zero film for me. I guess twice of nothing is still nothing. Oh god, oh god, that was a mistake, that was a mistake! I wanted the wrench, not the grenade launcher! Oh my gosh! Well, aren't you happy? What's the matter, Mary? I guess she's just content to stand there while I take pictures of her. Aww. Almost got another level. And into the water with you, lady. Anything good over here? Well, we hacked it, it would dispense napalm and liquid nitrogen. Because that's always what you need from your vending machines. That was actually a bit of a complicated one. There we go. Now I have some shotgun shells. Although it's looking like I might want to find that uh, next upgrade for it soon. Son, I need you to put the safe in the greenhouse. No one will find it there. But daddy, what if someone is being chased by splicers? Then we're screwed, son.
Now, what else do we have to find around here? Oh, hi there. Oh, he's teleporting. How is that not an action shot? I mean, really. Where did he go? Oh, here we go. The gene bank. I've always wondered exactly how the tonics work so that they're so... swappable. Let's see here. Ah, uh, here we go. Photographer's eye. We're going to be running with that for a bit now. And it just sounds so happy to be messing with your genetic code. Speak up. Plenty of nice stuff for crafting. Whoops. Holy crap, I almost shot myself. I thought I had telekinesis on. Hey buddy, think fast. You didn't think fast enough. Where does body go? Oh, here it is. What? Usually get at least a little point when you're photographing a corpse. And that is a statement I don't think I really thought I'd be seeing today. And there's the asshole who ran. It's actually very important to keep on trying to find you invent ingredients in this mission. On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rebel could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. Congress moved to nationalize my forest. I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds in Arcadia. So Andrew Ryan is kind of a dick, and so were you, buddy. And now we get sports boost too, which makes us even move and swing the wrench even faster. And we can stack them. Why must you always shoot one more than the is really necessary for him to die? And okay, Big Daddy. And he's alone. This is a bit of a rarity. Well, at least for when we're not actually... Well, we haven't harvested or rescued all the little sisters in a level. Oh yeah, got the double damage bonus. Well, I don't mean I'll be doing double damage. I mean, I just got that. You know what I mean! My word, him just walking around shakes the entire area. But I think we just need to wait for him to get over here. Yeah, over there, and then he'll knock on the thing, and a little sister will pop out, and then we can take pictures of him! And no, I'm never going to let that go. Yes, look around. There's no one around to bug you. Yay, more health than Eve. Can we just max this photograph line in the, so we can stop doing it, please? Now, let's just get them in range of our little turret friend. And I'll have a present for them. I guess 
he needs to get around the tree first. And out of ammo. He's looking pissed. He's looking pissed. Electric bug do your thing. There we go. Oh yeah, we've actually hit the money limit. We're actually only able to carry 500 bucks on us at any time. And for some reason our wallet can go higher than that. And I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but if you hit pause, you can actually see how many little sisters are in a level. And as you can see from down there, we've actually rescued both of them from here, so we aren't going to be finding any more. Our poor turret has been destroyed, but it served us well. That's a great big distraction. It is kind of messed up when you think about it. And, uh, oh gosh. Oh god, he's trying to poison us. We're all gonna die! That's definitely not a good thing. This does indeed sound like a plan. And more liquid nitrogen. Okay, who put all the symbols on the wall? Is someone trying to summon Cthulhu? Because I tell you, I do not want to deal with Cthulhu, especially this deep under the ocean. 